This is cute, right? So yeah, I'm really already fucking up. Um, I I fell asleep without really setting an alarm. I was supposed to wake up at like at least noon and go for a run and then do all my morning stuff and my daily routines. And I was gonna wake up early and finish my video editing. See, that's why I took a nap last night. I took a nap last night for like three hours, figuring like, okay, well I already got three hours of sleep, now if I go back to bed at five, for like five, maybe even six hours, I can wake up at 11 or 12, and I'll be ready to go. Something's wrong. Something is wrong with me. I, 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 for months now, I just cannot wake up. I cannot wake up. I fall asleep. I, I sleep through my alarm. I turn my alarm off in my sleep. I go back to bed. I hit the snooze. Oh. You know, I've been thinking about people who are successful and how they have, like, packed schedules. Like, Bob the Drag Queen. I mean... Every moment of every day for him is packed. He doesn't have the luxury of hanging around, relaxing, dredging out. He's busy, he's got work to do all the time. Casey Neistat, he showed his calendar once on his vlog, and like, he probably gets like six hours of sleep a night. And, and he once showed his calendar, on his calendar, after getting like a couple hours of sleep that night, he's always up bright and early first thing in the morning to like exercise. Like, it's written in on his daily calendar. Like, exercise, family time, work, vlog, edit the vlog, work, sleep. And like, I think there was like a small section carved out for like personal time or free time. But then, like, editing the vlog kind of, like, trampled over that on the calendar. Anyway, what, what's kind of going on for me, I suspect, is I have this, like, fear of my free time getting taken up by something else. And I think it comes from my old days of, like, being an addict, where, like, I was always trying to see if I could clear my schedule. Like, okay... Today's Monday, I have nothing to do today or tomorrow. All I have going on this week is Wednesday, I have something at 2 o'clock. And then Saturday, I have two things going on. And then in my mind, I'd be like, wait a minute. If I could move Wednesday's appointment to Saturday, then I'd have like the whole week free with nothing to do and no interruptions. I was always trying to clear my schedule so I could just be home chillaxing, you know? Or I, in other words, I could just be home smoking pot and doing nothing with my life. But, like, I think that's this, where this behavior originated. And I've yet to, like, really tackle that and replace it with something. And I know, like, I keep making these resolves, like, all right, from now on... You have my word, you can count on me to blah blah blah, but like, with this whole sleep thing, it just feels like I'm still under some magic spell that I just can't defeat. And I mean like, yeah, I do it, I guess I'll look back on my life and be like, hey, I got to take a lot of really awesome naps. I mean, I loved those naps, they were so much fun, but like, I don't want that at the expense of like, abs. Or money. Or a career. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to run and get ready because my friend Carl Michael Johnson is coming over in like negative two minutes. Oh, hey. Hey, girl.
Okay, so I've been a little lazy, but uh, I decided I may as well go out for a run. And if I'm going to go out for a run, I may as well get started by quickly doing my mountain climbers and push-ups. Um, I did a quick shower today. I did not floss. Um, I don't see a lot of sense in going back into the shower. Well, I don't have to shower to floss, but whatever. You know what? Whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, I hung out with my friend Carl today who showed me how to do a um, food journal on an app that I already use. So uh, I'm keeping a food journal there. Not much to record right now since I'm doing the master cleanse, but hey, at least it'll get me in the habit. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go up for a run really quick and then hang out with my friend Danny. And um, I got started on a little bit of organizing around the house. I decided to get out all my wires and cables and start organizing them into some different boxes. I'm not sure if that's the system I'm going to want to stay with, but at least for now it's helping me get it organized. Um, so alright, I'm going to go for a run. Going for a minute 45. <laughs> alright. I think I'm starting to get to the limits of what I can do. A minute 40 yesterday was just doable. A minute 45 today is too much. So tomorrow, I think I'll do a minute 42. I think I'm back to the point where I start increasing by one second a day. Five seconds a day was just to get me caught back up to my limit. I am there. So tomorrow, we do a minute 42. So now, to do 27 push-ups. Not great, but I did them. All right, let's go run. Okay, pretty decent run, uh, glad I did it. Um, I guess I still should floss and do five minutes of housekeeping. Actually, I've already done five minutes of house cleaning by uh, starting to sort and organize my uh, wires. So, uh, well now I kind of just need to tidy up because I left a mess in doing that. Quick update, so, hi New York, um, I'm going to bed, I did not do everything I said I would today, I did very little, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to look at today as a failure, but like, I'm, I'm better off just going to bed and then waking up tomorrow and getting back at it. I did go for a run today, I did do my mountain climbers and my push-ups, I did not floss, um, I did five minutes of house cleaning, kind of. Uh, kind of, yeah, but not like for its own sake, which is really the goal. Um, and I made a bigger mess during the day, so I think that kind of doesn't count. I did not set up my scale, so I did not weigh myself, and I have yet to take before photos or take my daily photos, um, which I need to do. So tomorrow is another day, so I need to be up at like 9.15. Oh, I should say a couple of things that I did get done today. Um, I just now recorded some vocals for um, Michael Heron's The Animal Show, which is coming up uh, the end of the month. I'm very excited about that. Um, I got to read um, 
I got to do, I got to take part in a, a, a reading he did of his show. Sorry for the movement. I'm just taking my socks off. Um, I got to do a, a bit of a reading in a, edit that. I got to um, take part in a reading that he did um, a few months ago. I got to read a few. Uh, I, I got to read a small part in that, and um, I was like moved to tears in a few points, like just reading these lines he has me reading. Uh, I'm so honored that I can be a part of this project. So, um, yeah, check out michaelheron.com and um, definitely check out his work. You don't want to miss this show coming up. So I did that. I chaired a midnight meeting tonight. I trained a new co-chair who can step up and fill in when we need. And then someone else stepped up to fill in for someone who we needed him to fill in for. So that's good. Um, and I hung out with my friend Danny... Today, I also just want to say, this is just for me, I don't want to talk a lot about this project because it's kind of personal, and, it's, uh, and it involves, it's, it's a project for someone else, which is kind of personal and delicate in nature, so I don't really want to talk about it, um, but I have a video project for a friend of mine that he hired me to do before I got sober. It was just after he got sober and right before I did. So I was still a mess, and it's not something I did very well. It's not, a, I didn't do a great job. But, like, all he wanted was that I would do, like, a three-camera... He didn't even say how to set it up. But I set up, like, a multiple-camera um, video shoot for him. And it's now been, like, nine years, and I've never edited this project for him. And today, while talking to a friend about it, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it started. And I thought to myself, at least I'm going to drag the footage into iMovie... And then once I did that, I'm like, at least I can start clipping out the unusable footage, you know, where the camera's shaking or I get it in the shot. And so something that I've been procrastinating for nine years, I started today. I started it. And then, of course, I started organizing all of my wires and whatever in the red boxes. So that's also a start. I don't know where I'm going to put those red boxes once I have them filled, but... So yeah, my apartment got kind of messy today. I also have this gorgeous new scale that I can't wait to use, but I'm leaving it sitting there on the couch. I just like haven't had the feel like itness to open it. So clearly, I've forgotten what I'm preaching is that I don't need to feel like it. I can just do it anyway. Um, so yeah, but tomorrow's another day, and tomorrow's a busy day. So I'm just gonna jump right back in tomorrow. And for now, <sighs> I need my sleep. Bye.